Let me start with someone who should be able to ask an intelligent question right now. <laughs> uh, who will it be now? I wonder now. Hmm? You? Uh, I'm going to go for you. Yes, 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 yes. I want to hear from you. Mm. Okay. I love you, Guruji. Uh, I love you so much. I love you too. Truthfully, Guruji, I want an end to this samsara. Something has brought me here um, against something that is fighting it, but it cannot even fight it. it the truth, it's just something has brought me to you as a truth, and okay. th there's okay. a knowingness. You say what jumps out from his question, I want to end samsara. It's big, you know, big thing. I want to end samsara. No? Hmm? And then we must look. Where did samsara begin? Hmm? You see? Where did samsara begin? I will show you. Hmm? Where did samsara begin? It begins when you say I and take I to be personal. Hmm? When you say I and you take I to be a person or personal, poof, samsara. <laughs> How to end samsara then? <laughs> I don't want to give you a philosophical answer. It will not help you. I don't want to give a religious answer. It will not help you. I have to give a practical answer. You want to find the end of some, put an end to something, find out how it begins. And then go before the beginning. Because when you say, I, you don't question I. Everything else you question. When you say I, and I means me person. I am this person. Sansara, samsara begins right there. Who understands what I mean? Oh, very good. <laughs> Who experiences what I mean? Very good, very good. <laughs> now, how to stop this then? How to stop samsara? Watch the one for whom samsara come. If you don't understand what I'm speaking, it's oh, don't try. <laughs> don't try too much. Just say. Mm. Just be open. Don't don't go away, because also the mind wants you to go away. I think I'm in the wrong place. I think I, I go back now. I make out I'm going to the toilet, and I take my bag. I go now. Okay. So if you don't understand, don't worry. I am coming to you. Okay. But for you who understand now, you see how to put end to samsara. Samsara means what? The ocean of suffering. Samsara means ocean of suffering. It means when the life is full of um, delusion, confusion, judgment, fear, anxiety, depression, hmm? broken promises, broken dreams. And then the beings, they are tired, they are frustrated, they are unhappy, they are suffering. This is samsara. Okay? How to stop it? See? How to stop? Then, when you say, "For whom is samsara? For whom is samsara? 
who feels the impact of samsara who suffers samsara <laughs> and don't give the answer you have read because if the suffering is here then the answer is also here who is suffering it you see if you say i am the one which is the natural answer i am the one it's my question i am the one suffering hmm? then i am going to ask something show me the sufferer who exactly says i am suffering you see, it will seem a very strange thing for me to say because you are so convinced it's me i'm not asking you who you see i'm asking you help me so it's me and this is where the problem begin you are totally convinced that you are the one who is suffering it i'm not saying no it's going to turn out to be your uncle or your sister <laughs> uh, it's going to be right here behind the feeling of me because the feeling of me is taken to be a fact and i want you to see that it is a fiction and to find the fact who are you as the fact not the fiction but most people will believe that this i who say i am suffering help me i'm drowning this one is the fact so if we can understand just this one we are going to be quite happy i think who is the one who is suffering samsara because everyone is claiming it's me muji why are you talking about just give me your hand pull me out if you hear my words and follow them you'll find yourself out you'll find yourself out who is the one exactly who is suffering samsara so the reflex answer it's me let's get on with it i'm going to slow you down and say let's look into this me sense because you have put your whole life behind this me this sense of i why your whole life because you accept it without question does anybody follow what i'm speaking yes. when you accept something without question you have put your whole life on top of it so this is why i ask you you who suffer samsara because your question is i want it to stop i asked you how did it start you could not answer i told you it start when you touch the feeling of i which is very natural because all of you all of us have the natural feeling of i when you speak when you think you say i think i speak i live i go i want i i i i i when i ask you what is i because nobody ask you what is i everyone assume if they see a woman a female body there it is a woman you are a woman if they see male body you are a man if they see old body you are an old person you see that's what they see but the one inside what do they see who do they take themselves to be it is more important who you take yourself to be than who other people take you to be isn't it we have to find out who is functioning inside this body and what idea do they have about who they are and if you feel that you are a person then you are very suited for samsara i am tired of this i want i need this i am in trouble this is samsara language samsara language now first of all these questions your mind don't want it your mind don't want you to listen to what i'm going to tell you it's going no 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 blah 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 it doesn't want you to know and i'll tell you why it doesn't want you to know 
Because the moment you are discovering your true self, the psychological mind is losing power over you. The moment you begin to not only understand, but to experience what you are, it has become so contagious, it is so attractive, that you are going to be moving away from the old mindset, from the old idea and old identity. You are not going to want him, because you have a higher taste once you discover that which is in here, but as yet is undiscovered. Why is it that many people, as soon as they begin to practice some form of spirituality in a genuine way, whether it be meditation or some form of contemplation or investigation, anything that brings a genuine result, why is it that you get so much resistance coming? Have you ever thought about it? Why does so much resistance come? Because you are trying to break free. And it is like some power inside you does not want you to be free. There are different ways we can look at this. This is one of them. Like there is a power inside that does not want you, won't release you to be totally free. Not easily. You are going to have to fight for it. But here is another way of looking at what I have just said. This power that is resisting and which is rising up as uh, resistance and fear also, is only for the one whose identity is still not complete. So you may say, please, Muji, help me to stop my ego. I want to get rid of the ego. But you who is asking this still has ego. And when it still has ego, it will keep attracting ego. Does anybody follow what I'm speaking? Yes. yes. OK. They say samsara is like a wheel that is always turning. How to stop this wheel? Hmm? Get off. <laughs> eh? Get off is one is the first is the first big experience. Get off the wheel. <laughs> Dismount. Let the wheel go on by himself. Okay? That's one way. There's another way. Wake up. You wake up and you realize. I was dreaming, I was on a wheel called samsara. And the one who was on the wheel was just an idea I have of who I am. I have never been on any wheel. Pop up. Does anybody understand this one? <laughs> 